YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports. And today's video, guys, is going to be on a deep sleeper. Yes, I said it. A deep sleeper, especially in Dynasty. Now, this guy that I'm talking about is one of my favorite players coming out of college this year. It's Puka Williams from Kansas. Yes, Puka Williams. He plays for the Kansas City, oh, not Kansas City, but the Cincinnati Bengals. Puka Williams. Now listen, pick up Puka Williams, guys. So let me break this game down now, and I'm going to give you some reasons why you should be targeting Puka in your late rounds or your dynasty. And if you want to for your last pick of a redraft, you can pick him up there too. Because who knows, he might get used this year, so I'm going to give you some stuff. So at camp, this is what they're saying. They're saying that Puka is on his way to being a, the, the returner, being a punt returner and a kick returner for the Cincinnati Bengals. The special teams coach said that he liked how Puka has got better because he didn't do a lot of that in the, um, college. And he's been working on it as a punt returner. And a kick returner, yeah, he was a good kick returner, one of the best kick returners in the country. But punt returner, he, you have to be able to read the ball coming off the punter's foot, right? And Puka's getting better at that. So he probably can do both, or they might just put him at kick return or maybe just a punt return. But as far as him playing like on the offensive side of the ball, and I'm going I'm to I'm say what I said, guys. Puka Williams is on his way to being the next Tyreek Hill. I said what I said. Tyreek Hill. Now listen, what position did Tyreek Hill play in college? Running back. Right? He played running back. What position did Puka Williams play in college? Running back, right? So... How much did Tyreek weigh when he played for Oklahoma State or Alabama AM? He weighed about what? 175, 180? How much does Puka Williams weigh? How much did Puka Williams weigh coming out of Kansas? 175? 180? Why did Tyreek's position get changed? Oh, he weighs a little on the size. Uh, he, he can't do this or this, so we're gonna put him at receiver. So, same thing about Puka. He's on the size, let's put him at receiver. What did Tyreek Hill make? How did he make all pro as a rookie? He made all pro by special teams. How will Puka Williams make all pro if he does do as good as I think he's going to do for his rookie season? It's special teams. And once you start breaking long runs on special teams, they're going to try to focal, they're going to get you in the offense. And that's what happened with Tyreek. That's why he's a full time receiver. So, can Puka be a full time receiver? Yes, I said what I said. I'm not saying it's guaranteed going to happen, but he's on that trajectory. And I believe Puka Williams is very dynamic. He's the most dynamic player in this draft. I, I said what I said. To me, he's better than Najee Harris. I said what I said. Look at, go back and look at Tyreek Hill and compare him to all the running backs that came out in his class. He the best, one of the best players in that whole draft. So it don't got nothing to do with the positions. So like I said, Najee Harris, Puka Williams better. Michael Carter, Puka Williams better. Javante Williams, Puka Williams better. Jamar Chase, I seen, I'm saying what I'm saying. He's going to be more explosive than you. Jamar Chase is a hell of a receiver now. I'm not going to sit here and just blat out certain things. But... Even though he's polished, will he have the big play that Puka has? No, he won't. Puka Williams has a chance when he touched the ball to take it 60 or 70. He's like, he got running back skills. Same thing with Tyreek. That's why he's so per touch. Tyreek Hill's the best player to ever play in the NFL per touch. Every time he touched the ball, his yards is, is tremendous. So same thing with Puka, guys. If Puka is used correctly the way I think Cincinnati will use him, he would be the same type of player. So that is my comparison. This is why I'm telling you to pick up Puka Williams, guys. Watch his college highlight tape. It's it's dumb. So, you know, let's talk about this. Excuse me, guys, and there's a jet going over. So work with me here. But, so, we talk about Derrick Henry, like how many stack boxes that he run against, right? We talk about A.J. Dillon, how many stack boxes that he ran against in college. It's a lot of players that have ran against stack boxes and done really well, and that makes you like, okay, well, if he can do that, he's a good player. We can pick him up because he's not going to see that many stack boxes on this team or that particular team. Well, Puka Williams was 5'10", 175 pounds and ran against stock, stock, stack boxes like he was 220, 230. 
and still was killing Kansas. They didn't have no quarterback that can even try out for an NFL team. They ain't have no receivers that can really try out for an NFL team. Maybe a couple guys on that team was like even pro potential. They even got a shot. Khalil Herbert was drafted. Puka beat him out and made him transfer to another school. Yeah, he had to go to uh, Virginia Tech because Puka was too good, too dynamic. So when a guy's 5'9", 175, playing against Texas and they stacking the box on him and he's still killing them, he's still getting them 140 yards and he giving them, what, 80 yards receiving, this guy is a phenom. That's why I'm betting on Puka Williams, and that's the guy that I want to pick up. So listen, guys, I'm not going to regurgitate my information, what i already been telling you, but you make sure you pick up Puka Williams. And guys, this is Cutting Edge. Make sure you go to my OnlyFans to subscribe, guys. Yes, where I got consultations, I got draft guides to offer you, and all of it is half off, guys. Just So just hit me up at fantasygoodsports at gmail.com and let me know what you need. I'm here for you. You need somebody to help you with your draft. You need somebody to ask a regular fantasy question, you can do that on my OnlyFans, and I'm there at all times of the day. You even get first dibs over YouTube. So, guys, I'm on all social medias, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Go follow your boy, Fantasy Good Sports. So, guys, i see y'all later. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.